It's a grand old theatre. It's, uh, it's been here since 1938, and so there's a lot to see, you know. And so with the tour, we, we start in the foyer and we go down to the new area, which is the, the studio. We come into the auditorium, the stalls and the circle and the balcony, and then we end up on the stage and behind the stage and above the stage. We go everywhere. Sometimes I think we go places the actors don't go. Um, but it's a, it's a really interesting tour. And the other volunteers, we really enjoy doing it and people seem really genuinely interested particularly when we tell them there's at least three ghosts that we know of in the theatre. <laughs> but this theatre is just a fantastic theatre you know I don't get tired of coming round it and um, it's so lovely you know the actual the de decor of it and the way it's been lovingly restored back to its original quality and uh, the buzz of it and I love the way it's been done for, for just to appeal to people who live in the city you know, it is a beautiful place. What it basically is, is just behind the scenes, things you don't see. You just see everything in the front, which is exciting, of course. It's a show or it's a, a play, whatever. But the activity that goes on at the backstage is non-stop, right from the time that the curtains open, right through to the end of the show. But all that time, people are giving cues what to do, when to do it, in advance, right through the show. I think the part that, that I like, uh, and I think most people do, is actually to be able to walk onto that stage and look up at the the, 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 the auditorium and see all those thousand seats up plus looking at you. It must be wonderful for the actors. It's great just for us to do it when there's no one in the theatre. If you want to know my favourite place of being on the tour, my actual favourite is actually going on the stage itself. I'm never actually tired of going on there and looking up and seeing all the seats. And they love this theatre because wherever you sit in the theatre, you can see the stage. It's such a big venue. All theatres are the same. Huge things. And back scene, backstage, I should say, they are the ones that really deserve big, big pats on the back because it's just non-stop and the hours are so long as well. When the Royal Court Trust took the theatre over in about 2008, it was in a poor state of repair because the, uh, it'd been hired out and when it's hired out you don't really you don't worry about keeping it in a good state of repair so the Royal Court Trust that took, took it over and they could see what a beautiful theatre it was and they took a lot of time to raise funds to do the theatre up so they got money for Heritage Lottery from European funding and also they had this great idea of every seat that sold one pound of it goes towards the refurbishment of the theatre. It's very easy to book onto a tour. You can do it online or you can actually ring the theatre. If you go onto the website and you look for a Heritage Tour, what's on, first of all, probably, then Heritage Tour, then you can book it. So that's really the simplest way of doing it. And if you haven't got internet access, then ring the theatre. Yeah. Even calling the book office, booking office, I think, yeah.